Hi everybody, my name is Anne from Bricks for Kids and I am here with Melton City Council Learning Directory and today we are going to talk about um, renewable um, energy, natural resources and we're going to build a windmill. So now we're going to do a windmill, so let's get straight to it. So I'm going to pick up, so if you don't have a base plate that's okay, but it just helps keep the structure um, in place. So we're going to move on now to our um, step number one, we'll need four 1 by 12 tech bricks looks like this so we need four of those one two three four so that's all our pieces now we're gonna try and assemble it onto our place base plate so I'm gonna pick up the first um, piece and I'm gonna put it right in the middle like so and I'm gonna place it on the edge of our base plate like this so there's two knobs hanging on each end. Now we are going to place the second one, um, two spaces in between. So there's one, two. And we're going to place it right there on the third one. So it looks like that. Now I'm just going to switch it so I could place these two um, along the middle, like so. All right, pop it in. Probably easier to do it one at a time. So. One and the other one. So now this is what it looks like. All right, so that's step number one done. Now we're gonna move on to step number two. We'll need one piece of one by four, looks like this. Now you guys can use any color that you have. And we're gonna pick up our motor. So our motor looks like this. And this is the connector. Place it right there. All right. So now we're going to assemble it onto our base. So we're going to put the 1x4 in this area. We're going to place it like so. Like that. And we're going to pick up our battery and we are going to place it like this. So the connector is facing that way. I'll switch it. So it looks like this. Now we're gonna move to step three. We just need one plate, a one by four plate, this one. And we're gonna place it on top of our one by four plate, like so. So it looks like that. Now for the next step, we will need one piece of pulley, this one. Looks like this, place it here. And we'll need axle number six. So it looks like this. So now we need our tech brick, one by six tech brick, looks like this. So we're gonna try and assemble this one. So I'm gonna pick up my one by six and place it on top of our plate, like so. Trying to align it. And we are going to connect our axle onto our pulley, like this. And we'll try to connect it onto our motor, like this. So our build looks like this now. So I'm gonna get a rubber band. Now you guys can use whatever you have, it needs to stretch a bit and you guys will see it later along the build. We need to place this one onto our pulley like this. So we're just gonna leave it for now. So we're gonna move on to step number six. We need two one by four. That's one, two, and we are, this is a bit tricky to put it because we're going to put it underneath our axle and try to put it in the middle. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four knobs on each end and we're going to place the second one on top of the one by four. 
So we're going to move on now to step number seven. We need two one by eight. So this is one, two, and we need one one by six. Like this. So we'll pick up the one by six and we are going to insert it right here. So this one's a bit tricky. We need to lift up our axle a little bit, slide it through and put it on top and clip it onto the um, one by four plates. So that's two one by four, one, two, and then a one by six on top of it. Now we're going to pick up our 1 by 8 and we are going to place it on top of the 1 by 6. There you go. And another piece on top. So this is our step um, 7. Now we're going to move on to step number 8. We'll need two 1 by 8s. So this one, two, And we are going to put it on top of this one on the edge of our um, build. So now it's even. Now we're going to move on to step number nine. We will need two one by six. So this one, two. We're going to place it on each end. So this one knob hanging on each end. We're going to do the same on the other end. Next up, we need four one by fours. So one by fours looks like this. So that's one, two, three. So now with our pieces, we're going to stack them up on each end, like so. One, two, and then two on the other end, like this. So we're going to move, move on now to step 11. We need one piece of bushing, this piece. Looks like this. And one tech break. This one. And a one by two tech break. Just one piece like this. So again, you could use any color that you want. And we're going to pick up um, an axle. Axle number six. This one. And we're going to pick up another pulley. Let's, let's grab that one. So first off, I'm going to pick my one by four and place it on top, like so, near where the motor is. So now we have one, two, three, and the other side only has two. One, two. So next up, we are going to place the one by two, like that. And we are going to connect our pulley and our axle straight through the mi middle. All right, so after we've connected it, we'll try and place it like this. We'll just leave it that for now. And we're gonna clip this one so that it stays in place. So now we're gonna move on to step number 12. We will need a one by two, just one piece, a tech brick and a one by four tech break. So bef before we try and um, assemble it, the tricky part is trying to get the rubber band connected to the pulley. So make sure it just stretches all the way so you could cover the second pulley like this. 
so it's a bit tricky to connect it. So there you go, there you have it. So you could test it if it's moving so it looks like that. So now we could move on and install this one, the tech rig. One by four, just underneath the um, axle. So you might need to lift the axle a little bit and we're just gonna clip this on. And with the one by two tech brick, we'll just insert it into the axle, lift it a little bit so that we could put it on top like this. Our windmill is taking in um, shape. So we're gonna move on to step 13. We just need one piece of gear 40 tooth, looks like this. And we are going to attach it onto this end. So we're just gonna align this at the center. We're just gonna align it and slid it through. So we'll and then we'll try and check if it's moving. There we go. So this end, basically, if we'll um, try and put power into it, if it's all connected, it should be moving. So we're using all the gear and pulleys. So we're gonna move on to um, step number 14. We, we'll need uh, four pieces of two by eight tech plate. So we have one, two, three, and four. So again, you can choose any color that you want. Now we're gonna try assemble it onto our gear tooth right here. All right, so we're gonna try and clip it on on the edge like this. So we'll just use it like this on this end. We'll just clip it on right there. I might have to switch it. And on top. And lastly, at the bottom. Like so. So that's our windmill. So on this part, you could either get your um, IR receiver for remote control. So you could use that one. So you could just connect it using the uh, motor. You could just connect it. So you could use this one or we could test it out using our battery. So we're connecting our motor to our battery. Let's see if it's working. There you go. This is what it looks like from the back. All right. So usually when you have a windmill, usually it gen the power gener generates through the shaft. But now we're using the, the pulley. So from the motor, we're, gener we're transferring the power to the pulley onto the axles and to the gear and our blades are spinning so that's our windmill so in this build we're actually going to talk about renewable energy so renewable energy comes from natural resources a natural resource is something found in nature that can be used by people so like for example when we're using the windmill we're actually using wind to generate um, energy so windmills are machines they actually change wind energy into mechanical energy so mechanical energy is energy used to create motion. So in the case of our build, um, the pulley actually acts the shaft that turns the gears. And these gears have teeth, can be used to push on something else and transfer energy from one object to another.